Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Mushroom Forest, deep in Wonderland, as we continue looking at the Alice's Adventures DLC. We're, uh, take ca we're taking care of Caterpillar's Mushroom. Though I, uh, must admit I'm not quite sure how it grows here at all, given that this pond appears to be made out of, uh, bubble fluid. I mentioned the Splatoon thing in passing last time. I suppose what I didn't mention is that there's no way Nintendo would ever go for it. They're very anal about controlling their, uh... What do you call it? Uh, uh, uh... IPs. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, who says on the subject of, uh... The first level's bookshelves. I would be a little worried about opening the books in Wonderland, since I think there is a risk that those words would literally spill off the page and onto the floor, and I don't think I could put them back right. <laughs> I do like that a lot. Sorry about that, I, w I got confused for a moment there. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, I play Hearthstone, the card game, that is, through use of the Hearthstone Accessibility Mod. The mod adds TTS support to many aspects of the game, uh, text-to-speech, uh, e.g., I can read the cards in my hand, what they do, look at what I have in play, any secrets I might have, and so on. The mod even supports some of the other modes, like Battlegrounds. By the way, my girlfriend, she is not blind, is very good at Battlegrounds, a whole lot more so than she is willing to take credit for. Hi, Kelly! My only complaint is that Blizzard has not stepped up and added native accessibility. They have a starting point with the mod, but Blizzard being Blizzard, they would rather have the mod author do all the work. There are a group of people trying to get Vanilla WoW somewhat blind accessible. I've seen a couple of videos of it, and it looks more like, a, like more of a chore to play it, negating any enjoyment. However, it's a work in progress, and I might be making significant improvements since I saw those videos a while back. Yeah, I'm not sure how you do that. Because that game's all about locking on to enemies and, you know, having to click on them in the environment and such. I can tell you there is an orc 30 feet in front of you and 5 feet to the left. Uh, they have a starting point with the mod, but Blizzard being Blizzard, they would rather have the mod author do all the work. That sounds about right these days. Oh, no, I got that bit. Uh, 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 sorry, I lost my place. Yes, that's right, it looks like more of a try to play it, negating any enjoyment. However, it is a work in progress, and I might be making significant improvements since I saw those videos a while back. The game I want them, modders, to try and add accessibility to is, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. I've heard that the FF14 community is very welcoming to new players and is overall more friendly. Plus, I grew up on Final Fantasy, and I'd like to go back to that universe if possible. Yeah, I can understand that. Certainly. I have heard good things about that. I didn't play it myself because... Well, I feel like you need to know people to play M uh, MMOs. Like, I have played a few of them by myself and... Eh. I had heard years ago that FF14 was one of the uh, games that makes use of, uh, I don't remember what they're called, that uh, bunny girl species that's so popular. The ones that were initially presented as being all female before they established the lore as, uh, well, actually, there are regular species, but uh, as per their traditions, the males are never allowed to leave the, uh, the territory of their homeland. Like, they've been using that concept for, like, almost 20 years. And I don't think they ever actually showed a male of the species in-game until 14. You know, because it's the MMO and you can go everywhere, not just where the story tells you to go.
I did hear that they also have a species, and I don't know how long they've had this. So, you know, uh, like I don't think this was part of the uh, the other settings with the rabbit race, but uh, they also have an all male race. And unlike the other one, where it's just a cultural thing. Oh no 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 no! Every single member of the species looks like a muscular, hairy dude. I believe the, uh, the term is bara. Get between these shelves here. So the mushroom stock is, uh, at the very base, it's kind of like tree roots, all curving and going into the ground, except that it in no way is colored like tree roots. Uh, this segment is green, this segment is yellow, this segment is cyan, this section is light green, this one is dark green again, this one is a, a third shade of green, I think. Eh, maybe it's just the first one again. Oh no. Oh jeez, for a second there, I thought I was stuck. Just check something real quick in the, uh, the, the, the menu. What? No, menu, menu. Oh, not... Hmm. Okay, close this. Uh, I thought there was an unstuck button. Hmm. Good to know. Oh, that was satisfying. All right. I'll leave arse on the wall until the end. that spot. Well, that just looks sillier. When there's only dirt immediately surrounding arse. Oh, right. Scaffolding. Let me look up. Okay, this is the side without the uh, railings, which means I needed to point this way. This isn't a great distance. We'll see what we can do. I 
mean, that's what these extensions are kind of for. I wonder if there's an achievement for beating any of the garage levels without moving from your original spot using the extensions. Caterpillar. To elaborate, colon. When a caterpillar wraps itself inside a cocoon, it does not simply change from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Its head does not simply grow more refined, repeat with its long, elegant tongue. That is true, butterfly tongues are renowned. Its body does not shrink, grow hairy, and sprout wings. Wait, they're already fuzzy. In fact, they're fuzzier than butterflies. Oh no, the process is far more singular than that. And there it goes. I feel like if I saw someone lying down in a prone position on a platform and pointing something with a very, very long cylindrical uh, extension out of the middle of it, I might draw the wrong conclusion. probably weighs a ton, too. <laughs> Do perpetuals get super strength? This is one of those games the devs quietly have the ability to fuck with you if uh, you're playing the game live on a stream. I can see it being really easy to do with those text messages. You know, you're cleaning off someone's house and you say something out loud about, oh, why'd they decorate the garden like this? This is hideous. And then a Te a text message pops in, I'll have you know that this garden was... <laughs> Oops. I mean, it is n easier to navigate without the big chunky edges on it, like the, uh, the one in the Warhammer DLC. Which, uh... As I recall... Oh, it's too high. <laughs> I can't see under the cap. Looked like it weighed at least three times as much.
going that slow, I might as well use this one. I am kind of tempted to put happy face on the cocoon, but to be perfectly honest, the fact that there is a guy in there and he is talking to me kind of spoils the fun on that. Carve a path all the way to the top. Second, I thought I saw a bell around the uh, Cheshire Cat's neck. Oh, wait, wait! There are supposed to be spores under the cap of a mushroom. That's where they grow! Huh. Take that sad face made of dirt. Alright, what's wrong with this fungus platform? Must be something bigger I'm missing. Always is. Ah! Got you, you fucker. Oh, all right, very well. You can be clean, too. Oh, but since you're one of the green ones, you know... If I'm ever in a jam, I could really use a one-up. I'm just saying, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. There! Wow, that does look a lot better. And a lot more psychedelic. What's that? Caterpillar House Door. It's in what I could only describe as a knot, if the, uh... If this was a tree. And there's a small, perfectly circular door in it. I feel like it would be just wide enough to allow entry to the caterpillar, judging by the jumper. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna need a new door, buddy. Just saying. I don't do that. Maybe I know a carpenter, but uh, I, don't, I don't do that. You sure you want me to wash all the spores off? I mean, it's just gonna make more. It's literally what they do. Now, let's be clear about this, Burning Dog fans. I'm very pedantic about words. When I say literally, I do not mean figuratively. There is a word for that already. People even find it amusing when you say things like, this is figuratively the worst day of my life. You know, when you actually acknowledge that no, it's not, you know? Not literally. 
It's win-win. You're more accurate. You're not damaging uh, the language of future generations. And uh, you even get unexpected social points. Ooh, that was good. Slower. Spider-Man's never used a power washer. like 0.0001% of the overall object, but, uh... Oh, fuck. The timer. Well, let me back off and see how I'm doing. Well, better, certainly. That's damn true. Ah! I'm stuck! No! I'm just trying to get over here. I guess next time I'll work on the cap and the, uh, the cocoon. Which I guess I don't really need that for this, since I'm just gonna be looking straight up and using a, uh, an extension. Uh, that having been said... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next exciting episode! of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. Later!